Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Beat Akiba. Akiba, Beat Akiba's. <laughs> Akiba's beat. I'm sorry, I messed it up. No good jerk face meat. <gasps> say you to ramen. I've got a craving and know this great spot on the edge of Jump Street that I bet you'd love. You down, Saki? It would be my first time. Do you think I'd be okay? I mean, aren't ramen joints kind of scary? What have people been telling you? In this day and age, even lone high school girls don't bat an eye at eating ramen. Yeah, but I'm a country girl with simple tastes. I like my Jiro-style broth with quail eggs and my tonkotsu noodles firm. Very specific. And a country girl? So she must be a tomboy at points. Yo, that's pro-tier ramenology. You are definitely not a simple country girl. You might even be able to out ramen me. What? Anyway, just follow me. I won't steer you wrong on this one. Thank you, Asahi. I think she has feelings for him. I don't know if that's a tsundere or not. I mean, a tsundere is basically a girl who denies being in love with with the person that she's interested in. But then she develops those feelings over time. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh man, I'm beat. But you're hardly late at all. For you, that's quite the accomplishment. Hey, I can get stuff done when I put my mind to it. Shame it's such a rare occurrence. <gasps> but now we have time to question people both before and after their handshakes. Hmm. Right. And we'll need to pay special attention to how that changes things. Any sign of goggles today? None, I'm afraid. Which is why we need to be extra vigilant and try to find the real source of this delusion. Uh, yeah. Let's talk to them some more. Good lord. At least I'm getting used to their talking. Which is scary. Huh? Hmm? What do I do? What should I say to her? What can I say to her? This is new, right? Yeah. He's even got a different vibe in general today. Hmm. Asahi, if you please. Hey, you got a minute? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yeah, you. Has Mippity Mop already shaken everybody's hands yet? Uh, no, it hasn't started. Right now, I'm trying to... <laughs> trying to figure out what to say to her when it's my turn. Uh, I've got to figure out how I can make Mippity Mop feel better. <laughs> because I'm feeling... Pretty good. <laughs> Wait for me, Mippity Mop. Huh. That's... You may be onto something, Saki. That was even weirder than usual. But what does it mean? Nobody's even shaken Ryu's hand yet. Yeah. Only Goggle Boy did. Please, I would love to see an image of bottles every time I hear the word Goggle Boy. Even the first time I said it. So don't forget that time. At long last, the handshake event with Mippity Mop begins. Oh, I'm so nervous. By my valuation, the most appropriate words for a situation like this are... Screw you. But I'm glad he's nervous. I don't care, I don't care what he thinks. Check it out, Saki. The handshake event hasn't started yet, but he's already acting differently than yesterday. Let's see where this goes. What can I do to fill the hole in Mippity Mop's heart? Even my valuations have failed to provide me an answer. What's with the valuations? The shaking of the hands will begin so soon. Could it be that my valuations have gone completely awry? Yes! Oh, God, yes! <sighs> but you are priceless, Mippity Mop. You are sacred and majestic. I offer you all that I have to give. No, just frick off. We're definitely pre-handshake, but none of this fits my theory. The conversation has definitely taken a turn for the weirder, I'll say that. You know what, I'm pro-handshake, I can really give a crap. Everybody's different this time around. Okay, I officially have no idea what's going on anymore. I'm just as lost as you are. 
Something's afoot for sure, but what? Well, the answers won't come to us if we're just standing around here. Wanna go grab a bite? I could use a break. You know what? That sounds great. Let's cool our heads for a bit and come back with a fresh perspective. How about curry today? <laughs> I know a really good spot, though it's a little bit of a haul from here. <laughs> no! No, ramen's fine with me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a fan of greasy foods, but I wouldn't want to make you walk. The place we went yesterday's fine. Nah, it's cool. The walk's really not all that bad. Plus, eating at the same place two days in a row is a little... Hmm. I don't care. My heart's set on ramen now, so ramen it shall be. The same shop we enjoyed yesterday, too. Hmm. Yes, even my meals aren't safe from this time loop. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a personality. How long is this chapter? It's longer than the first one, I think. Oof. Kotari ramen two days in a row is not easy on the old stomach. Y you think? I thought it was just as easy to eat today as it was yesterday. Weren't you saying you're not that into ramen? Hmm. <laughs> huh? What was all that about? Whoever she was, she looked like she was in a hurry. She was indeed. Very cute and constructed, though. Hmm. Like an idol. Wait. Do you think it was Mippity Mop? Asahi, take cover! <laughs> Mippity Poo! Wait for me! Wait for me! Oh god, I knew this would happen. You can't tell me I didn't know this would happen. You don't know Weeaboos like I do. Why won't you tell us what happened? Is my valuation incorrect? Shut up with the valuations, you freak! W what's going on? Are her fans chasing her? Something's not right here. Asahi, we have to follow them. Hey, wait. Ow! Let go of my arm. Come on, run! Wait, wait! If we want to catch up, we should go this way. It's a shortcut. We'll head them off at the pass. We'll head them off at the pass. <laughs> Todd is doing a great job. I, I gotta say. Where am I? Oh, main story. Hand him off in the pass. I still like that line. Over here, over here, and here. I swear, this kind of, this kind of, this reminds me of what happened in the first game. This is all likely to be the only same thing that happened. I don't know. Came out of nowhere, the idol, and so did this one. Hey, over here. <laughs> don't worry. He may look like one of them, but you can trust him. May? He'll keep you safe. May? One of them. <laughs> Just hide behind me, Mippity Mop. That should keep you out of eye shot. One of the. <laughs> I knew he would say that! I really did know he would say that. Oh, okay. And she disappeared. By my valuation. Shut up with the valuations. Mippity Mop, where did you go? <laughs> Onward, wide body. Let us resume our search over that away. <laughs> ha! 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 I think we lost them. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Thank you. Both of you. No, no. Think nothing of it. You're Ryu Mimose, are you not? Oh, are you familiar with my work? Familiar nothing. We were at your big event at the Versailles. Oh my gosh, really? Wow, thank you so much. You idols sure do have it rough, though. Were those two idiots waiting in the shadows to harass you or something? No, 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 it's nothing like that. They weren't harassing me. Those people are fans who've come out to cheer me on, even though I'm still so new and inexperienced. Not harassers. Fans are harassers. It still looked like you were running for your life. That was just a little misunderstanding. It was all my fault. Wow. Taking the blame for being chased by your fans. You couldn't be a more picture-perfect idol mm -hmm. if you tried. Oh, no, I'm not just saying that. I, I really mean it. Honest. Mm. <laughs> Still, it makes me so happy to hear you say something so nice about me. God, how can you be so cute? Oh, Excuse what? me, Asahi. 
I'm noticing a distinct difference between the way you address her and the way you address me. <gasps> well, duh. I'm starting to think I'm gonna have to stand in that handshake line tomorrow myself. Oh my god. Actually, huh. Yesterday it was right about now that we... Hmm. What are you doing? Nibbity Mop didn't come this way at all yesterday, did she? Which means... <sighs> Finally catching on, are you? Those two fans chasing her all the way out here worry me, though. It's very strange. Hmm. Uh, sorry to interrupt you guys, but... Is something wrong? What? Wrong? No, oh, no, it's nothing, sorry. Just, you know, private. Now that I think of it, we might want to skedaddle. Good plan. There's a chance those two fans might double back this way. Why don't you let me see you off? B but I don't want to trouble you. Trust me, he'd be happy to. And though he's a neat, he knows Aki oh, Hopper like the back of his hand. Come so on. no matter where you need to be, I'm sure that he'll get you there safely. Not sure if compliment or insult. Well, <laughs> are you 100% sure it wouldn't be a bother? 200%. In fact, I'd be more bothered if I couldn't escort you back. Oh Thank my you God. so very much. So where exactly do you need to go? To Akihabara Station, if you don't mind. But if it's too far, you can just leave me right here. It's totally fine. Roger that. No matter where you need to go in Akihabara, I'll make sure that you get there safe and sound. In Akihabara. I've never seen you so eager, Asahi. Well, he's starting to get into the fan friend friend really craze and whatnot all right screw walking at this point I'm having a lot of fun yeah safe spot I could use a breather wait it was all the way over where is it? Wait a minute, it's over here? Wow! And we're here. A little late to be asking this now, but are you sure you don't need us to escort you any farther? Hmm. Oh, no, 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 this is fine. Thank you so very much. I take the train from here every day, so I'll be A-OK. -okay. You're so sweet and modest for an idol. What would you say to Big Sis Saki buying you some candy sometime? Oh my god. <laughs> I'd love that. Asahi, Saki, thank you both so much for taking care of me today. Ah! Uh, an idol actually knows my name. Oh my Is god. Is now really the time for this, Asahi? Oh, and feel free to call me Ryu. Once again, thank you ever so much. From the very bottom of my heart. Hmm. So, uh, is it okay that we just let her go like that? Yeah, I think we've done all we can for today. But these strange events are really perturbing. You mean Mippity Mop's behavior? Ryu's certainly a part of it. But her two pursuant fans and the still absent Megami Taro only deepen the mystery. I feel like we're getting close to cracking the case, though. Tomorrow, we may finally get our answers. Mm. Yo, Saki, why is this so much fun for you? Huh? It's just... I don't think most people would take the whole delusions encroaching upon reality thing so well. Hmm. I guess I like it when my life isn't predictable. And you have to admit, nullifying delusions is pretty fun. Who'd want to go to school day in and day out anyway? And be the same as everyone else? It's boring. Wearing the same uniform as everyone else, doing the same things after school? I hated it. So... She's experiencing a melancholy. That's a pretty big word I used. It reminds me of a certain character from a certain franchise of manga books and freaking light novels in an anime series with a spin-off. What do you think that anime is, editor? It was popular back in the 2000s. It was the melancholy of Haru Suzumiya, so I'm 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 just saying right now. She kinda reminds me of her. Then one day I found a mysterious door. At first, I had no idea what I was looking at, but I went through anyway. And I met someone strange on the other side. 
is someone who taught me what I know now about the delusionscape, the delusions that inhabit it, and the necessity of nullifying it all. And I can't believe I said this before, but the main character isn't voiced by Todd. Just stop it, me. But the vo the but the voice actor behind the main character, voice number nine. I mean, God, I'm not big smoke. Mr. Nine from One Piece. The editor told me that in the first in the first CG scene. I like the CG image. I like that. Regular people didn't understand. How could they? They couldn't even see it. Only a select few can nullify delusions. In my mind, it sounded like someone was saying, We finally found you. On that day, my life was changed forever. Hmm. Interesting. So from then on, I've been living as a chosen one. Wow! This is the first I've heard of any of that. It happened a short time before I met you, Pinkoon. A chosen one, huh? I wouldn't mind being chosen. Chosen to sit on my butt all day as the world passes me by. Wow. Oh, come on. I was trying to be forthcoming in everything. There's no such thing as a chosen meat, dingus. Nobody wants the Lord of the Lazy. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, this unchosen meat is about to head back to his neat realm in which he is Lord of the Lazy. Later. Wow. Remember, we meet tomorrow at the event space. And promise you won't be late. I never make a promise I can't keep. So, I'm, 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 so, he admits to being lazy, and he loves it. Wow. Wow. And he's late. Again. It wasn't my fault. My futon just loves me too much to let me go. Oh, shut up. No, I believe that. We do spend a lot of time together. <laughs> I really stop putting my faith in you. <laughs> Sorry. Well, wow. We waste the entire day. The concert's nearly over, though, so let's hurry up and ask some questions. But advanced warning, there's something particularly off about the fans today. Huh? How so? They all seem so... despondent? You'll see what I mean when you talk to them. Come on, let's get investigating. Nearly all of them? All of them? All of them. Oh my god. Why do I have to keep talking to them? Oh yeah. It's the plot. <laughs> Mippity Mop, what's wrong? Hey, did something happen? I'm not getting any murmurings from Mippity Mop. <laughs> That's it. I can't take it. I'm so worried. It's making me thirsty. Sorry, but I gotta go buy a soda pop. <laughs> what happened? Huh? Not getting any murmurings? Murmurings? What the? <laughs> 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 uh. By my valuation, shut up at the valuation. A boyfriend. It's the only explanation. And if it's true, she'll have to retire outright. Hey, mind telling me what's going on? Not now. You'll have to come back later. I can't take my eyes away from this for even a single second. I deserve what to be pissed. What was that all about? Why in the world would she have to retire? Because she has a boyfriend? Hey, are you okay? You don't think yesterday's incident with those two fans has anything to do with all this, do you? I can't imagine it would, since today's concert went off without a hitch. That's true. The crowd went just as wild as they always do. Even the handshake event started without incident. Idols really have it tough, don't they? All it takes is one boyfriend and their career is over in the blink of an eye. Wow. Yeah, Slims McKenzie was saying something about that, wasn't he? Hmm. Slims McKenzie is a better name for that freak. The other man said something odd, too. Something about not being able to hear her murmurings anymore? Yeah, that was weird. Wait, I think I see what's going on here. You do? Saki, can I borrow your phone? Huh? Uh, sure. Time for some cyber investigation. Let's check out Mippity Mop's Quipper account. Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. Cool. I see. 
Now the pieces are all falling into place. She stopped updating her quipper, so some of her fans have speculated that she's seeing someone. Or she's Taro dead. mentioned her quipper on that first day. He said she never misses her daily updates. This is it. This has got to be the X Factor we're looking for. She must have quipped about how anxious she was yesterday after going through the time loop. That would make all of her fans extra worried about her for sure. Up until then, her quips were probably all bubbly and happy and idol-like. But that doesn't explain Goggles. He noticed something was up day one. I think I know why. The first day the idol delusion was formed, Megane Taro was first in line to shake Ryu's hand and was overjoyed. Yeah, he said he'd never wash his hand again. You've got to be pretty happy to be that gross. <laughs> but then on the second day, he was the only person to worry about Ryu after shaking her hand. Now I get it. She sent out her daily quip as usual, but couldn't hide her bewilderment when she saw him again. She probably woke up early and noticed that it was Sunday all over again. And who'd be prepared for that? Oh my god! If an ordinary girl were placed into extraordinary circumstances, it would be rather hard for her to hide her unease. So but Mippity Mop's no ordinary girl, and she had fans anxiously waiting for her. I get it now! And not wanting to let them down, she pretended not to worry about the time loop, and the event went on. Each day, she was getting more and more disturbed, and we didn't even notice. Come on, we've got to head her off at Akihabara Station. She might be taking the train home any minute now. That is awesome! I can't believe it! Well, actually, I can. But we're already there. We don't even have to use the walk. <laughs> we don't have to go out th the... Yeah, whatever, I don't know. So if you like this video, check out the annotations at the end of the video. As always, I'll see you in the next episode of Akiba's Beat. My god, he looks tired as hell. Zoom in on that face.